Connor and Nathan. And we are in Belgium. Road tripping in our camper van, Claudia. And in this video, we pay a visit to these three cities. Bruges, Ghent and Dinant. Before making our way to Luxembourg. We try the local cuisine. We soak up the city atmosphere. And of course, stumble across a few issues. No, might make it no stuff. Good morning. Morning. It's nice and early and we're in Dover by the sea and we're going to go and find a vessel so we can go over to Belgium. Exciting. on the ferry now Claudia your first trip overseas to foreign lands we're in France no, no. Do you remember they're driving me beside well at least I'm not first off so I've got other people to follow in 400 meters keep left no keep right We're in Belgium. Claudia, you're in Belgium, girl. <laughs> so yeah, the first car park that we went to, Nath went to the pay meter uh, to pay for parking, and then this guy came over, this attendant, and just says, oh, you need just half an hour to stay here. That car park had no height barrier, did it? But and that was all my research. Oh no, all your little research going into I thought into we it. had it, and now it's just thrown us. So yeah. Thank God for 4G. Oh no, yeah, 4G and Google, lifesaver. So a lot of the um, car parts have a height barrier, so we're just going to see if Claudia's going to fit under this one. Uh, I don't think she's going to make it. No, might make it, no, stuff. So uh, yeah, Claudia is 2.4 metres, that's what she fits under at home. So it was a bit of false hope really when we saw that and was like, oh yeah, she's going to fit under there. No, no way. So um, we have found a car park, just typed in on Google, car parks with no height restrictions. So we're just on the way to one, so fingers crossed, you'll fit under there, girl. Just on a bit of a swap because you was getting your hair off a little bit, wasn't you? With uh, yeah. it keep being told we're the wrong way, so. And everywhere's shut. Yeah, but this couple, I don't know what nationality they are, but they spoke very good English and they told us the road that is broken, which we thought we couldn't get down to this car park we need to be at, you can divert past it, can't you, to get on. Yeah, so let's, let's try that. Let's try again. Finally, third time lucky. We could not have found anywhere better to leave Claudia to rest while we headed into town. So we are here, we're in Bruges and we're walking. We are and one thing I've noticed so far, there's lots of Belgian chocolate shops so Belgian chocolate is definitely on the list. Yeah, we don't really have an art, well we don't have an art anyway, there's no really about it so we're just having to wander around and see what today brings. It's not been back at home. When was the last time you seen an orange shop? Um, probably in about 1999. So it appears we're in the centre of Bruges now. We are, we are well in the heart of Bruges. The Belfry. What's your first impressions then? Chocolatey. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. What did I say? It was the, the Sweet Tooth City or something. Sweet Tooth like City. That, yeah. There's so many sweet shops and chocolatiers. It's like, oh, I want to live here. Yeah, what are we going to have for lunch? Chocolate. It's got to be done. What should we do next? What should we do next? What should we do next? Chocolate, 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 waffles, waffles, waffles. <laughs> yeah, so let's be uh, cultured and go and have some authentic Belgian food. I'm so excited. <laughs> what did you think of the waffles? 
absolutely fantastic. Oh, they were amazing and the place as well was lovely inside. So quirky and cute and lots of little things everywhere, wasn't there, to look at. Yeah, it was a great way to spend lunch, wasn't it, for it sure? was, yeah. I feel like high on sugar and high on caffeine now, so ready to explore Bruges some more. <laughs> Behold the home of the crazy cat lady. <laughs> Leaving the city. It was time to check in at Camping Memling and it wasn't long until the sugary caffeine crash hit. Someone is feeling the four o'clock starts. Oh, there we go, right. Mm. right, let's put this bed down. There's a pattern to this being so tidy and clutter free. This. I'm obsessed with this, aren't I? You are. Keep sweeping Claudia out, keeping her nice and clean. There's nothing wrong with looking after what you've got. It's not. Because it's our first night in Belgium, we just literally went on Bruges camping, booked it. Uh, but if we'd done a little bit more research, we'd have stayed where we parked earlier. There's some pretty cool vans there earlier as well, but the showers here, amazing. To be honest, it's a little bit posh for us. Pitch, it's even got like a garden. How was your shower? Amazing, the showers are so posh, aren't they, for a campsite? Yeah. Really nice showers, really hot as well. My water's really hot and powerful. Yeah, it's like the poshest uh, five metres of grass we've had. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yahoo! Bruges has been awesome it and has. today we make our way to Ghent which is about 45 kilometres from where we were staying. Yeah just leaving camp in Memling now but no it's been really nice and yeah a nice sunny day just on the way to Ghent. We'll see you there. So it's not height barriers this time, uh, Ghent has got a low emission zone so we've parked on the outskirts, we'll say outskirts, it's only a 40 minute walk in, but we're going to catch the free shuttle bus. Thank you! Yeah. <laughs> Merci! Merci! <laughs> There's no price tag For a reason. Will we get to see the sights again? I oh, know, all I've done is look at photos. <laughs> Welcome to Ghent. Yeah, when we first got to Ghent, I thought I was going to be a bit disheartened and disappointed by it, but just look at that. I think we're in the heart of it now. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it's quite Amsterdam y, Copenhagen y. Gdansky, it reminds us of quite a few cities we've been to, but it's lovely, is it? Yeah, and look at the weather, man. Jeez, oh, lovely. It's so hot. Oh, how cute is this? Take a free smile and be happy. So, Belgium is a land of castles, and we've just stumbled across the Gravestein Castle here in Ghent. It's a proper princess castle as well, and it's even got a moat, hasn't it? Going there, and it's so pretty. Ghent or Bruges? Oh, I really enjoyed.
enjoy Bruges yesterday. There's like things about the two, isn't there? That yeah. I, I, I don't know, like, because again, I thought I was going to be disappointed when we first got here, but then it just blew me away when we got to the main yeah. area. But It's really busy though, here. So busy. I, I know it's a lot busier than Bruges, isn't it? Yeah, I thought yeah. Bruges was busy. Yeah. But yeah, Belgium, what we've seen of you so far, I love it. Yeah, you've been great. Yeah, we've probably spent about three and a half hours in Ghent and it's been so nice just wandering around a new city, somewhere that we've never been before and Belgium's been on the list for a, a good few years, hasn't it? It has and we're finally here, country number 32 together. Yay! Every day is a school day as well in Belgium. Over the past two days, well, we've been here in Belgium. <laughs> I've learned that Stella Artois is Belgian beer. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't know that. We just thought it was Spanish. But, yeah, uh, we was like, oh my gosh, like, Stella Artois is Belgium. And we were like, mind blown, wasn't we? Yeah. And then today, um, we found out that the Smurfs, I used to watch the Smurfs all the time when I was yeah, a kid, absolutely yeah. loved it. And yeah, that's Belgium as well. So every day is a school day. Do you know the waffles are Belgium? I knew that one, that, that one I knew. <laughs> Like the right guys, we are well and truly gented out. Let's see. A short shuttle bus ride later and we were reunited with our Claudia. Making our way to southern Belgium, we had a quick supermarket stop to stock up on supplies. Carrying on with the 100 mile drive, we took in the Belgian countryside and cute little villages before arriving at Camping de Denant. So we've made it, we've pulled into Camping at Denant and look at this for a pitch. We're right on the river, under a tree, absolutely amazing. Tonight's entertainment, sorting out our photos, going through our photos from the past couple of days and storming them all onto our hard drives just with a nice cup of tea because I had too much Stella Artois last night so tea is needed tonight. Soaking in the atmosphere of this lovely river and it's really warm actually isn't it? It's like 10 o'clock on the night and it's really warm, just sat out here. Got the jungle formula on so the midges are at bay as well so I feel like I'm winning today. The Belgian beer. After waking up to what felt like the longest train ever, we enjoyed breakfast with a view before packing up and heading 10 minutes down the road for today's exploring. Welcome to Denant. We have made it to Denant and so far it's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like a uh, big bugle. It is, it's completely different, isn't it, to Ghent and uh, Bruges? Yeah, yeah, it's good, we've seen more, more of Belgium. Yeah, and we're just waiting for our Nutella crepes now, so looking forward to those. And look at the weather, oh! So nice, isn't it? Yeah, we've got our crepes, give us the energy to go exploring. Yeah. This has got to be my favourite bit of Belgium so far. This city, Dinant. Oh, it's got such a lovely feel about it, hasn't it? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it feels more like this is us into it. We're away from the busy city of Ghent and, and this, yeah, speechless really. Yeah, views are stunning. And now we're going to make our way up there. <laughs> Yeah. 
So we're just about to go up last citadel of Denant and we're going to catch a cobra cart and save our legs. Wow! Something you don't see every day, there's a robotic lawnmower on the roof of a cathedral. So do you need your roof mowing? Never mind forwards garden services. <laughs> so we had lunch in Denant, no English menu. Can't seem to find any signs in English, but funnily enough, the sign that says service 50 cents for the toilet is in English. Just walking back to Claudia now after spending probably about three and a half hours here and I'm not joking you it is absolutely boiling and I thought it was a good idea to put my brown leather boots on um, before we come out because I knew that we'd be walking up sort of like a hill and I thought oh, I, don't, I won't wear my flats for that I've got sweaty knees I don't think I've ever had sweaty knees before nice there she is Johnny shoes ready. If boots wasn't bad enough, walking all oh, that is so sweaty. That is so sweaty. Smell them from here. Ooh. So I've thoroughly enjoyed my first trip to Belgium. The three days here have just been amazing. Yeah, we've explored Bruges, Ghent and Dinant. Dinant has got to be my favourite. I do love Dinant. Yeah, mine too. But the journey doesn't stop here, so why not join us as van life continues and we carry on winging it in Luxembourg. See you there. Bye. The weather in Luxembourg. Rainco under the sunglasses. <laughs> Getting wet. We love to travel. And I need coffee and I need food because Hannah is very hungry. 